Hi everyone and welcome to my channel English Fluency Lab where I help you improve your English language skills. Friends, in this video, I'm going to cover the rules for capitalization. Now, this is a video on written English. All my earlier videos have been on spoken English, but with this video, I'm starting a series on written English also. Now, I do understand that with the coming of artificial intelligence and tools like ChatGPT, written English has been more or less taken care of. But there are certain organizations which do not allow the use of AI tools. So this video is definitely going to be beneficial for those people and students who have to give exams in written English. Now, this is going to be the first part of the video. I'm going to cover rule number one to rule number five. There is going to be a part two and a part three of this video also because this is a pretty vast topic and I don't think I can cover everything in one video. So this is going to be part one where I will cover rule number one to five. The format will be that after every rule, we will have a short quiz and at the end, we will have a consolidated quiz on rule number one to five. So are you ready to get started? Let's go. So let's start with rule number one. Now, rule number one says capitalize the first word of a sentence. Now, this is pretty basic and I hope and I'm sure all of you know this, that whenever you write an English sentence, the first word will always be in capital. Example, the lessons begin tomorrow. The first word is the and it has to be capitalized. The letter T has to be capital. So let's take a quick quiz on this particular rule, right? Capitalize each word that needs a capital letter. Number one, you don't seem to understand. Number two, why didn't you ask me? Number three, the boy will be punished for his wrongs. Number four, get out of here. And number five, did you see that? So your 10 seconds on this questions or rather on these questions start now. So given this rule, please let me know which word is going to be capitalized, right? Your 10 seconds for these questions start now. All right, let's look at the answers. For the first one, the word you will be capitalized. For the second one, the word Y will be capitalized. For the third, the word the will be capitalized. For the fourth, the word get will be capitalized. And for the fifth, the word did will be capitalized. All these are the first words in the sentence and hence they will be capitalized. So that is pretty simple. Let's move on to rule number two. What does rule number two say? It says that always capitalize the word I either alone or in a contraction, right? So whether the word I is alone, whether it is at the uh, beginning of a sentence or in the middle of a sentence or it is part of a contraction, you will always capitalize I. Example, do I get to go? Now I is in the middle of a sentence. It has to be capitalized. I said that I am here. Now I is part of a contraction. I apostrophe M is short for I am, right? So even if I is part of a contraction, it is going to be capitalized. So that is rule number two. Let us take a short quiz on this particular rule. Capitalize each word that needs a capital letter. I must ask my mother. Number two, you and I get to see the movie. Number three, try it as I have done. Number four, yesterday I'd have sent it. Number five, I'll be there soon. All right. Now, please remember rule number one along with rule number two and answer these questions. Which word or words in these sentences need to be capitalized? Your 10 seconds start now. All right, let us look at the answers. I must ask my mother. The word I has to be capitalized. You and I, you and I go to see the, you and I get to see the movie right? You and I will be capitalized. Remember rule number one, you is the first word, right? Hence it will be capitalized. Try it as I have done. I've is short for I have, hence I will be capitalized. Try it as I have done, I will be capitalized. Yesterday, I'd have sent it. I apostrophe D is short for I would, hence I will be capitalized out here. I'll be there soon. I apostrophe double L is short for I will, and hence I will be capitalized out here, right? I will, right? So hope rule number two is clear. Rule number one, capitalize the first word of a sentence. Rule number two, capitalize I, whether alone or as part of a contraction. Let us move on to rule number three. Rule number three says, capitalize words such as mother, father, grandmother, grandfather, son, daughter, and sis when they are used in place of the person's name, right? 
that is rule number three however please remember friends do not capitalize them when they follow possessive pronouns such as my your his her our or your right do not capitalize them in this case but otherwise always capitalize these words let's take a few examples let's take an example i will ask father in this case the letter f in father will be capitalized i will ask my father in this case it will not be capitalized because it is followed there is a possessive pronoun my before that so hope that is clear let us now take a few let's take a quick quiz on that capitalize each word that needs a capital letter my father will return next week number two oh mom you don't understand me number three tomorrow grandmother leaves for florida number four did sis want to go with us number five today mother and i will finish the painting now please remember rule number one and two along with rule number three and your 10 seconds start now All right, let us now look at the answers. My father will return next week. My will be capitalized. Father will not be capitalized. Why? Because it is after a possessive pronoun. Number two. Oh, mom, you don't understand me. Mom will be capitalized. Tomorrow, grandmother leaves for Florida. Grandmother will be capitalized. Did sis want to go with us? Sis will be capitalized. Number five. Today, mother and I will finish the painting. Mother and I will be capitalized. Remember rule number two. I. I has to be capitalized whether it's in the middle of a sentence or at the beginning of the sentence. So mother and I will be capitalized. So friends, that is rule number three. Let's move on to rule number four. Capitalize proper nouns. A proper noun names a particular person, place or thing. Example, a girl, particular girl is Rebecca. A city, particular city is New Delhi. Newspaper, a particular newspaper is Times of India. So when you're talking of a proper noun, the, let, the first letter has to be capitalized or the word has to be capitalized. Rebecca, New Delhi, Times of India. The first letter is capitalized. All right. With rule number four, capitalize each word that needs a capital letter. Right. Please remember rule number one, two, three, along with rule number four now. Let's look at number one. Should you and I go with Sam? Number two, the Magna Carta is an important document. Number three, the first war in my lifetime was World War II. Number four, I live in Kuramangla, Bangalore. And number five, have you and John visited England? Right? So your 10 seconds for these questions for rule number four and one, two, and three start now. Okay, let us look at the answers. Should you and I go with Sam? I and Sam, right? Sam is a proper noun, hence it has to be capitalized. The Magna Carta is an important document, right? Magna Carta will be capitalized because it is referring to a particular document. Number three, the first war in my lifetime was World War II. World and war will be capitalized. I live in Koramangla, Bangalore. Koramangla and Bangalore will be capitalized because we are talking of a particular area in a particular city. Number five, have you and John visited England? John and England will be capitalized. So friends, I hope you have understood rule number four. Rule number five says capitalize a common noun when it is part of a proper noun, right? Examples, river is a common noun, but Jordan River is a proper noun. Hence, Jordan will be capitalized. Uncle is a common noun, but Uncle Peter is a proper noun. So P will be capitalized. Street, main street, right? So that is rule number five. Capitalize a common noun when it is part of a proper noun. Let's look at a few examples. Let's take a quiz on this particular uh, rule. Number one, I have crossed the Missouri River. Number two, did you attend Mountain View High School? Number three, the three boys joined the Boy Scouts. Number four, Aunt Alice will be coming from Africa. Number five, the magazine People is read by many people, right? Your time, your 10 seconds for these five questions. Please remember rule one, two, three, and four, along with rule number five. Your 10 seconds start now. All right, let us look at the answers. First one, 
I and Missouri River will be capitalized. Missouri River is a proper noun. Okay, M and R will be capitalized. Number two, Mountain View High School because we are talking of a particular school. So all the first letters in all the four words will be capitalized. Number three, the at the beginning of the sentence and Boy Scouts will be capitalized. Right. Number four, Aunt Alice will be coming from Africa. Aunt Alice and Africa will be capitalized. And number five, the magazine People is read by many people. Right. The first people will be capitalized because we are referring to a particular magazine called People. Right. So friends, that was rule number one to rule number five. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to take a cons consolidated quiz from rule number one to five. Okay, there are going to be 10 questions in this. You will get some time to solve and then we will look at the answers. Let's start with number one. Where were Jack and Jill going? Number two, I wish I could go to New Jersey with my dad. Number three, my uncle Jim was visiting with Paul in Mumbai. Number four, I just returned from Parsipani, New Jersey. Number five, the constitution should be studied more in school. Number six, the Navajo Indians live in interesting buildings. Number seven, did you attend Provo High? Number eight, Anne lives in Canada. Number nine, we will be visiting the First Baptist Church. And number 10, my nationality is Swedish. Now friends, since there are 10 questions, I'm sure you will require some time. But I'm going to pause the video for 10 seconds. You can go ahead and pause the video for a longer time. And after that, we will come and look at the answers. Your 10 seconds. So I'm going to take a pause for 10 seconds and that starts now. All right, let us look at the answers of all these 10 questions. Where were Jack and Jill going? Jack and Jill will be capitalized. Number two, I wish I could go to New Jersey with my dad. I, I wish I could go to New Jersey with my dad. I and New Jersey will be capitalized. Okay, there are two, there are two I's in this. So both will be capitalized. Number three, my uncle Jim was visiting with Paul in Mumbai. Uncle Jim. Paul and Mumbai will be capitalized. Number four, I just returned from Parsipani in New Jersey. Parsipani and New Jersey. The constitution should be studied more in school. Constitution should be capitalized. Number six, the Navajo Indians live in interesting buildings. The and Navajo Indians will be capitalized. The, remember friends, is rule number one. Did you attend Provo High? Provo High will be capitalized. Anne lives in Canada. Canada will be capitalized. We will be visiting the First Baptist Church, right? We and we, First Baptist Church will be capitalized. We are talking of a particular church. My nationality is Swedish. My and Swedish will be capitalized. So friends, how many did you get correct in this, in the last quiz? Please put that in the comments uh, below. I would be interested in knowing your scores. And friends, if you have learned something new, if this video has added value, please give me a like. Please subscribe to my channel. And please do press the bell because I keep coming up with videos like these to help you improve your English language skills. I will be coming up with part two and part three of this video soon. So see you then. Thank you very much.